Well, everyone, my cousin's feeling better. She didn't have the Rona. Oh, and she's... Oh, jeez. Uh, I'm pretty sure she has the case of the crazies. I bought her a pink lawnmower, and she is absolutely... Whoa! Yep. Yep. I have no idea what's wrong with her. Let's get to it. Come on, I mean, stop trying to hit me. Man, family, you can't get far enough away from them. Uh, so today, uh, I'm a little interested in what's going on with Jim. So he has some weird wheat, uh, green wheat, basically. If It's just not drying at all. So we decided to mow it. All right. Before my family makes me too crazy, I'm going to go up and see just what Jim is getting into. Yes, yes, the bales are still in the field. I know, I'm procrastinating. So those of you that don't know, that's Jim's place up there. He actually looks like he got some stuff done. Uh, must have been because my cousin was sick, for the most part. Uh, this is, uh, Jim's, what would this be, Westfield? One of his Westfields. Uh, he looks like Jim's down here right now, so we'll go down here and see just what he has going on. Uh, this is in, like, mid-summer time frame, so the days are getting hot. Let's just say that. So Jim has some green wheat here. Uh, if you don't know, wheat kind of is used from crop to crop. Jim actually got this from a neighbor. and We don't exactly know why this isn't golding or drying up, dying, uh, fully maturing. We did get, he said he did get the kernels tested, and they do have high protein. So he's thinking if we mow it down, let it dry, because it will be uh, cut off from its growth state, that it will uh, mature up, and we at least get, be able to get a crop off of it. But, got to put it in windrows, so that is what we're going to do today. We don't exactly have one of them draper heads, mowers. So Jim had it contracted. They're supposed to be showing up here soon. Supposed to be coming down the road somewhere. Ah, here they come. Wow. Wasn't expecting that. Them things are huge. Yeah, that's what, uh, sh uh, I'm just not even gonna say it. Yeah, be careful going through that ditch. That's a doozy. Alright, so it looks like the mowers are taking off here. Uh, they're mowing this down. It, the wind will, it's kind of weird because the str they're green on top, but once they mow it, it's it looks golden. But if you could see the wind rose, that is some green top. So I don't know what exactly wrong with this wheat here. It's definitely got some uniqueness to it. Uh, I think I might ride along with one of these uh, mowers here if I can catch up to them. Got to drive the John Deere one row. It's something I didn't know. I didn't know either McDon or John Deere makes uh, the wind row, uh, basically, tractor or implement. So this is actually, well, these is a John Deere, and the, 
the one right in front of it is a uh, McDon. So basically they're the same thing. The cool thing about these is you can actually turn around the seat and you can drive it backwards to uh, get more, I guess, speed out of it. So obviously, so that way you basically you can drive with the front wheels so you don't have a rear wheel drive because that kind of limits your speed safely anyways. Really surprised this can handle this heavy as a head. This head is not light. It's uh, quite the head. It definitely has some twines on there. That thing, man, it's got a lot of teeth on that head. Hungry, hungry head there. Alright, so I think I'm gonna fly my drone around a little bit. Just kind of watch these uh, mowers in action. You can't turn the tide. Go where it wants to go. You can run and hide. You can bury yourself beneath the stone. Somebody told me, don't pretend. Cause everyone can use a friend sometimes. I don't know how long these uh, green wind rows will take to uh, dry up but whew, a little green still so as long as they keep drying uh, this will definitely kill off the wheat hopefully we could get some uh, Jim can get some fairly good yield off of it Jim needs me to go pick up his uh, pickup head so we need a pickup heads to put on the harvesters so Jim rented a few, so I'm going to have to go pick them up from the dealership. We'll be head down there right now. Alright, we are shaking down this road right now. We got two little pickup heads on our little drop deck trailer there. A few shakes, and we'll be back at Jim's. All right, got to pull it in here, make sure I don't lose them all the way now that I made it to the farmyard. Yeah, careful, careful. Yeah, there's the rat rod still over there. Pull in here, I'm not exactly sure how we'll get these off the trailer. That will be an adventure. McDon Draper, meet McDon Pickup Head. Hmm. Nice to meet each other. I know that's stupid, but we need to get this uh, 7240, get the Draper head off of this so we can put on one of the pickup heads. Jim wants the harvesters to go over there. I'm like, that stuff is green still. There is no way, but Jim says. So we're going to get at least the harvesters ready, park them over to the field. Doubt we'll be harvesting, but, you know, that's what Jim's a boss. I'm a hired hand. I don't know. We'll see how these axle flow harvesters do with a little green here soon. I don't know if I, uh ever drove axle flow through the green careful careful easy does it park this behind the grain bins by its sister and uh, hopefully these uh, pickup heads hook up don't give us too much of a lift. 
Old 82 is over right there. Jim actually put something away for once. And we'll hook up these. And then uh, probably start heading down to the field. See how this thing hooks up here. All right, we are hooked up. Kind of a weird uh, pickup, isn't it? Yeah, just a rubber belt with little uh, metal twines on it. Interesting. Very interesting. I think I'm gonna get this uh, ready for its convoy. They're right over here. Fire up the old 82. Oh, another news. Jim actually got this. Look at them tracks. Nice. Aren't they looking good? And look at this view. So Jim got a blacked out green 500 Steiger. Big 1400. What are these? LSWs? Hmm. Just beautiful, I think. Kind of clashes with the Brent grain cart, but at least the tires are the same. But that thing just looks like it floats on water. That thing is a sharp looking tractor. Alright, we are heading down here. We got a convoy going. Grain cart should be following us over there. Don't have very far to go. That's a good thing about these little pickup heads. I mean, don't have to trailer these things at all. There's our uh, green windrows there. They are, whew, tell they're green from here. Corn don't look good, Jim. Looks like it should be a little bit taller. Yeah, they're still green over there. I sure do like Jim's harvester. That thing. Nice. Tracks on it. Good looking harvester. Alright, we're gonna pull in right about here. There comes old Greeny there. Alright, so Jim thinks the kernels are actually might be dry enough, but it's just the uh, leaves and the stems are pretty green. He wants me to try to harvest this up. Oh man, this thing is going to be screaming for pain. All right, Jim. Let's see what we can do. Sounds like you're choking a gremlin or something over there. I, I think we probably should wait till it goldens up a little bit. We're gonna put it on the record. I was right. That stuff definitely needed to dry. So we are back. It's been a few days. The harvesters, they stuck in the field here. I don't know how Jim could do that even when his harvesters were stolen once, but they stayed in the field. Man, that stuff definitely looks dry down now. So, uh, we are gonna start one of these harvesters up and see if we can, uh, get to rolling. We are harvesting away. Uh, them windrows sure got, uh, they shrunk up. Now, that's a little, that's definitely, they shrunk up when they dried up. I guess that's normal. Wow, 
We are definitely getting a lot of crop off of this. I, I thought it was a little weird. Jim wanted both uh, grain carts. Now I kind of understand. Going around here. Looks like that harvester just unloaded. Yeah, surprisingly, we are getting one heck of a yield out of this whole thing. All right, we are over halfway full already. Woo! Man, it's a little itty bitty uh, windrows. Look at that little thing. It's got a lot of grain in it. All right, whatever you say, harvester. We are just getting the headlands done right now, so still got uh, our rows to do, basically up and down. Oh man, we're already at 85%. Where's our grain cart? There's our flashers going off. Jim's over there in the 82. Looks like he just got unloaded. I kind of understand why we have two grain carts now. Just picking up our little straggly roll right here. Jim looks like he just unloaded. That grain cart's full. Well, there goes my cousin. She's driving grainy there. You guys probably don't know it, but that's my wife driving that, so uh, she's actually driving pretty good. So I'm pretty happy. Uh, we aren't in too big of a rush. We are just stopping to unload uh, just to make it easier on the girls. Don't want to get them too riled up too big of moving equipment around each other usually causes some uh, farm accidents. There's my cousin and Jim and my wife. Now I think let's do a little uh, get the drone out see what we could see out here. just unloaded. Whoa, get out of her way. Got another grain cart coming in right here. But thank y'all for watching, and I will see you later over here in Missouri. Man, oh man. What the heck were they driving through? We got some 
muddy conditions out here. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share and subscribe. I know I'm driving a pink lawnmower, but I'm just hopping ditches. Woo -hoo, woo! 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 That was close. Make sure you like the channel.